yesterday during the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament, the World Tournament, I think it was or whatever, they announced a, a Budokai Tenkaichi 4. I don't know about anybody else that owned a PS2 when they were young. If, if you were into like anime games, that series was the shit. You know what I mean? I'll go grab my copy real quick. I should have done this before I even started streaming because I know I was going to talk about it. See this chat? Still has the stickers on it and everything. Used. All that shit, right? This fucking game, man. This was like the first anime game that I really got into. You know, Budokai Tenkaichi 2. I don't own 3. I don't own 1. I used to own Budokai 1 and 2. I don't know what happened to them. But this game, this is what spiraled into me playing Ultimate Ninja, uh, Clash of Ninja, in a sense, Kingdom Hearts, fucking any other anime, Xenoverse, Fighters, any other anime game I've played, this, this was the game. The fact that they announced a fucking Tenkaichi 4 in 2023, however many years after it's been, since Tenkaichi 3 is ridiculous. I even still have... I don't know, I don't know if you guys know, but back in the day they had these wonderful thing called cheat codes in games, right? I still have all the fucking cheats for this game, like still in the in the case. I'm just real happy, man, like this shit, this shit holds memories, very fond memories. I am aware of the Tenkai G4 mod. I've played it on stream before, actually. I gotta give credit to the, the, the modding team for that. If Bandai doesn't, I think it's Bandai that's making Tenkai G or publishing it, whatever. If they don't give them some sort of credit for like keeping the idea of Tenkai G4 alive for years, I'm gonna be pissed, bro. Those those modders, they did a good thing. I feel like they're part of the reason why Tenkai G4 is even being made. One thing I am kind of worried about, the developer of Budokai Tenkai G4, is going to be Spike, which is the same person who did the original ones, which, you know, high hopes there. They partnered with another company, or they merged at some point. I guess, like, some of their more recent games, one of them, I guess, is Jump Force. And that's kind of yikes. I might be wrong there. Storm Connections, though. So, when I first started doing, like, content creator stuff, it was, I think, Revolution or Revelation. Um, I didn't really do much with it, because I was still in school. I should have done more, but we don't need to go down that <laughs> loophole. It's, like, one of the first games I did. I also did Xenoverse 1. The fact that I'm kind of getting, like, both of those series, in a sense, like Dragon Ball and Naruto. And then we're also getting a new Tekken. There's a chance that new Mortal Kombat might be okay. Really excited for Street Fighter 6. Like, it's just, I'm, God, I'm really, I'm really hyped to be getting back into my content creation shit because like i was saying they gotta have a great roster budokai 3 and once you unlock all the characters basically every single dragon ball character that you'd want to play as isn't it so if budokai 4 tenkaichi 4 doesn't have almost every single character it's gonna be kind of whack and yeah let's not get them locked behind dlc that would be awesome that's another thing give us costumes don't make them dlc basically just release a full game and have everything be unlockable Crazy idea, huh? <laughs> Another thing I hope that they have in 4, which I, I don't doubt that they will, a bunch of destruction, man. Like, we need that. It's a Dragon Ball game. I also wonder if the move sets are gonna kind of be the same in fight uh, not Fighters 4, jeez. Tenkaichi 4. It's just weird to say, man. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd be saying Tenkaichi 4. See, I almost wish they'd do something like this with Storm. Obviously, like, well, uh, I shouldn't say that Naruto characters can't fly. Because nowadays they probably can. Let us run up walls and shit and like make... Kind of mix like... I, I don't like Shinobi Strikers, but mix like the big battle system of Shinobi Strikers. Not to the extent like not that big. Give it that feel. Make, let us run on walls and shit. I'm just curious what the next storm... Like is it just going to be two new characters and like all the games put together? Wondering how performance will be. Um... Yeah, that's a good question. I'm hoping they don't put it on PlayStation 4. I hope it's next-gen exclusive, just so they can do everything they want to with it. I hope they release a gameplay trailer of it soon, though. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I'm I'm excited to see more of. I wonder how they're going to do the story mode in Tenkaichi 4. I hope it's like... I, obviously, like, Kakarai is its own thing, the game. So they're probably not going to go that crazy with it. But... I hope they at least do some like cutscenes. I know you heard about Budokai 4. Let's be real here, haha, I'm super surprised there. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard about Tenkaichi 4. I was I was going on about it. That's the whole reason why I was playing Budokai Tenkaichi 3 at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, I'm quite surprised I dropped the Tenkaichi 4 too, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The only thing is I'm hoping for, they need to have good online. They need to have all of the characters. No paid DLC. It needs to be a complete game. The soundtrack needs to fucking slap. And it needs to have a story mode of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, and Super. Maybe, maybe further into the manga. Maybe past the anime. Just give us the same kind of fighting with like touched up. And I'll, I'll, I'll love it. I, you know, I'll, I'll still buy the fucking game.